All right, you guys, so I just pulled up at the dollar store. I'm gonna go in and we're gonna find a bunch of stuff for ferrets to play with that is inexpensive. So let's do it. So this video is all about ferret toys that are inexpensive or cheap, or I had a request to do a video for ferret toys under $5. So this will meet all of those requirements. So what I did was I went to the dollar store and I got a ton of stuff, way more stuff than I actually thought I would be able to get. Um, some of the stuff that I got, I'm going to be using in upcoming videos because I'm going to be doing a series on um, DIY ferret bedding that does not require a sewing machine. So um, some of that stuff I'm going to kind of hold off and use. But without further ado, I'm just going to jump right into the video. I'm really excited. The ferrets are excited. They want to know what's in the bag and they are freaking out right now. So let's just do it. All right. So the first toy we're going to get out of the bag. Oh, let me do it this way. So the first toy I got is this bag. It's for heating and cooling. It's um, just an empty, empty bag and it makes a ton of noise. So we're gonna give it to the ferrets and this was a buck. And I think it'll last a while too because of how it's made. But ferrets love to play in things, especially things with noise. So I just wanna make a mention of this bag. Um, I would recommend that you take out the white plastic part and the styrofoam part because um, they will get stuck in it because they're gonna claw it. So then they're gonna get stuck and not be able to breathe. So you're gonna wanna take all of this to take it out. Um, the insulation, essentially. So you just want the tin foily part. Now it should be good and safe for them. Can you get in it? Oh, there he goes. So the second bag, this is actually, um, it covers like, a, it goes on a chair cover, but I thought it would be great for them to play in. Um, my ferrets love bags, so I got this instead of like another kind of bag because I thought this would be really cute for them, but I want to make sure I take all the plastics off. So, okay, so this opens up like this. It's really big. Look how big it is. And um, it goes on the back of a chair, but again huge and they really want this right now so I'm gonna give this to them what are you doing in there can we see can we see you playing let me see let me see oh there her is oh no we cannot see her oh there her is hi what are you doing in there oh you like it in there <laughs> let's see what's in this one Hey, Noodle. Hi, Noodle. Let me see. Hi. And the bear is in here. The next toy I got was these pom poms. Um, they are just made of cloth. So. They just look like this. They're just real soft. You want this? So next I got them, it's a tablecloth, um, but it's really big and the ferrets like to play underneath of things, especially things that make noise. So I'm gonna open this up and lay it out and I bet you that they play underneath of it if I had to guess. Is it? Hey. 
So I also got this. I'll need a pair of scissors for this as well. So what you do with this is you just, now you can use a zip tie, it's up to you. But because I have the ferrets, I probably won't because I'm afraid they'll chew, try to chew this. But basically you want to unroll a bunch of this and you want to wrap it around your hand like this. Just keep wrapping. Let's say you got this. Let's take it off your hand. And sit it down. Don't just leave it like this. Cut yourself a longer piece. Put your in the center. And then you're going to tie this like this. Make sure it's in the center. And I always go up again this way. Let's see, it's a little uneven. You can still move it now, so. And you're just gonna tie this again. And then I would tie it in a knot. So now you should have something that looks like this. I'm going to cut these off. All right. So now you should have where you have these like holes on each side um, like this. And you're going to want to cut those. So you're just going to. My ferrets love this stuff. So now you have like a little ball. You're just gonna wanna kinda, and you can cut this as short as you want. So you can like trim this up. And now my ferrets favorite thing to do they really seem to like the cat toy situation. So you can either leave it like this and let them play with it. And they love these. I have a ton of these around the house. They love these. Or you can do this. So I also got this from the ferret store, from the ferret store, from the dollar store. So what I'm going to do with this, it's for a classroom, but we're going to do something different. We're going to get another piece of yarn. Make it pretty long. I would make it pretty long. So now I got another piece of yarn. It's pretty long. I'm gonna tie one end around my ball, like so. So now you have it on the string. And then we are going to tie it onto here. And we're going to make like a little cat toy. And um, my ferrets love this as well. So what I'm going to do so that it stays is I'm going to start it here. And you could do this with anything that is like a stick. This was just the closest thing they had to a cat wand. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it around this little hand. And So the next toy I got was a little stuffed animal. Um, it's made with stuffing, but it doesn't have any kind of weird styrofoam stuffing. And if you notice, his eyes are made of cloth. Not, um, it's not any kind of beads. So it should be fine and they should be safe with this. So I'm gonna go give this to Weasel because he is the, the ferret that I that loves stuffed animals, him and, Lou, and Ruby. 
So let's go see what Weasel has to say. You want to take it? Take it. We're going to take it. There her go. Her leaving with it. Her taking it somewhere. Well, it's going in the bag, you guys. It's going in the bag. <laughs> I also got them a pair of slippers. Weasel loves to steal my slippers. So I figured if I got him his own pair of slippers, then my slippers would not be targeted. We're going to look. She's trying to take my slippers now. All right, you guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it was just a quick video of some simple toys that you can get really cheap for your ferrets um, from the dollar store. So they're definitely under $5. Uh, I did get some other stuff, but I'm gonna be using those for a no-sew tutorial. So um, I didn't wanna use them right now, and that video may take a little bit longer, and I just wanna kinda dedicate a video to that. So keep an eye out for that. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time.